the current problems of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party are, are just an eruption of something that everybody has known has been there for a long time. The Labour Party leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has announced an inquiry, an official uh, party-led inquiry into the party's anti-Semitism. Uh, he has appointed somebody called Shami Chakrabarti, who used to run something called Liberty, uh, and is a sort of left-wing uh, social campaigner, uh, to head the inquiry. The striking thing about the Labour Party's inquiry into itself and the accusations of anti-Semitism is that it cannot possibly come up with the truth. And the reason for that is very clear, because if the Labour Party has an inquiry into anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, it'll discover that the problem is at the head of the Labour Party and that the fish has rotted from the head. The Labour Party itself is now led by a man, Jeremy Corbyn, who has spent most of his political life being very cosy with some of the world's most notorious anti-Semites, some of the world's most notorious Holocaust deniers, and of course has described and constantly behaved as if uh, the people in Hamas and Hezbollah are, as he says, his friends. Uh, these are not one-off comments, they're not things that just slipped out of his mouth, they're not niceties, uh, they are uh, expressions of Jeremy Corbyn's own views. Uh, during uh, the height of this recent crisis, uh, Ken Livingstone, the former mayor of London and one of the most senior figures in Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party, uh, gave an interview which got him into a lot of hot water, uh, partly because he started talking about Hitler and which of Hitler's early policies he thought weren't so crazy and which ones were, and it's never a great position to get into. But Ken Livingstone uh, uh, said something absolutely fascinating in his interview which hasn't really been picked up on. He was trying to respond to the comments by Naz Shah uh, who had said on social media, had approved a post saying that uh, all the Jews of Israel should be moved uh, to America, forcibly deported to America. So Ken Livingston said you've got to understand this happened at a particular time in a particular context and the context as he explained it was that it came during another period when the Israelis were brutally massacring the Palestinians. So he didn't say uh, it came during a period in which Israel, after having had thousands of rockets fired into Israeli territory, led the most targeted pinpoint precision warfare that the world has ever seen against specific targets, even warning houses in advance of Hamas commanders that the house was going to be hit, even warning uh, launch sites of rockets that they were going to be hit. He didn't say that. He implied that the Israelis, through sheer um, habit and indeed glee, uh, just had another of their periods of randomly, brutally uh, uh, massacring Palestinians. And again, not just not, not Hamas commanders, not rocket launch sites, but Palestinians. That's where the Labour Party's problem is, for the time being, impossible to resolve. Because when a party is led by people who spread lies uh, uh, about the state of Israel, who spread lies about the only Jewish state in the world, it's not surprising if kids coming up in the party or random members in Bradford or anywhere else think it must be open season and that they can say what they want. Because after all, if uh, there was a group of people who were just randomly and enjoyably massacring other people whenever they felt like it, who wouldn't uh, 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 step up and make themselves heard, perhaps very forcibly? Uh, so this is the Labour Party's key problem. They are trying to find out what the source of their anti-Semitism problem is. And the problem is that it comes not only from the grassroots, but from the top. And the top of the Labour Party, as it currently stands, has been pushing this poison into the body politic in Britain for years. This is Douglas Murray speaking for the Gateshead Institute in London. Mm -hmm.